Vikes, 1998. What is the motive for weather modification? Um, multiple motives. They're useful idiots that actually think they have to protect us from the sun and, you know, global warming and reflect the rays. There's lots of useful idiots there. Uh, but that's idiotic, right? That's idiotic. Like, for example, the, the, the only thing you need to know about weather modification, right? Not the only thing you need to know. There's multiple reasons that they're doing this. Depopulation is one. Control is another. Collapsing society is another. Warfare. Uh, multiple reasons, right? Uh, bringing on collapse of um, uh, uh, food crops and stuff like this, right? The multiple reasons. And those reasons is the ultimate reason is to acquire more power by these oligarchs and technocrats, right? But these psychopaths. Right? But one of the things you have to explain to people who think weather modification is a good idea, or science says we should do this, or oh, these experts say we should do this, just bring up history to people. Right? Just bring up history to people. Just here, here's one example. Tell them look, the top scientists in the world throughout human history have made some of the most catastrophic mistakes in human history, right? And people go, oh, you're crazy. They're scientists, right? And then you can turn to them and say, okay, you moron. Like literally call them out. I, I do. Okay. You fucking idiot. Okay. Take the frogs that they took from Africa to Australia to eat the larvae of whatever crops they were growing in Australia, right? So these scientists, the top minds at the time, right and the oligarchs at the time they, they had a larvae i forget what it was a pest problem in australia when they were trying to grow crops right and they went hey these i think they were both frogs in africa or something like this these frogs in africa eat these things eat bugs they'll eat it they'll eat these bugs so let's take these bugs and bring them to Australia and let them eat these bugs okay. now here is this moron factor first of all these frogs reproduce like mad okay second problem they eat everything they even eat birds they're devastating the Australian uh, habitat right the they're creating extinction event. Certain species are dying because these frogs are eating them because they populate like mad, right? Third problem. These frogs actually don't even live, are not even active at the same time as these larvae that they're, they, were, they brought them over to try to eat, right? I forget, I think the frogs are nocturnal and the, the larvae and these bugs are during the day, right? So when the frogs are active, the bugs are sleeping. And when the bugs are active, the frogs are sleeping. <laughs> These are the top minds at the time, scientists and oligarchs and technocrats and the rich fuckers, right? Thought this was a great idea. Why? Because they wanted to make more money from their crops, right? Devastating an ecosystem, right? And there are multiple examples of this around the world around the world starlings in uh north um north america in the united states and canada right multiple examples of this right so all these people that turn to you know are okay with the world economic forum and these globalists oh let the experts decide the future of humanity you just turn to them and says hey we let the experts decide the future of humanity back then and it's definitely devastating multiple ecosystems around the world okay wake the f up educate yourself and if you don't you know you don't know what's going on stop supporting the oligarchs and the rich and the technocrats and the so-called experts okay you need to question what they are doing not support them blindly.